Serving God or Wealth Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man once had a manager to take care of his business. But he was told that his manager was wasting money, so the rich man called him in and said, What is this I hear about you? Tell me what you've done. You're no longer going to work for me. The manager said to himself, What shall I do now that my master is going to fire me? I can't dig ditches and I'm ashamed to beg. I know what I'll do so that people will welcome me into their homes after I've lost my job. Then one by one he called in the people who were in debt to his master. He asked the first one, How much do you owe my master? A hundred barrels of olive oil, the man answered. So the manager said, Take your bill and sit down and quickly write fifty. The manager asked someone else who was in debt to his master, How much do you owe? A thousand sacks of wheat, the man replied. The manager said, Take your bill and write eight hundred. The master praised this dishonest manager for looking out for himself so well. And that's how it is. The people of this world look out for themselves better than the people who belong to the light. My disciples, I tell you to use wicked wealth to make friends for yourselves. Then, when it is gone, you'll be welcomed into an eternal home. Anyone who can be trusted in little matters can also be trusted in important matters. But anyone who is dishonest in little matters will be dishonest in important matters. If you can't be trusted with this wicked wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? And if you can't be trusted with what belongs to someone else, who will give you something that will be your own? You can't be the slave of two masters. You will like one more than the other, or be loyal to one more than the other. You can't serve God and money.